Hi, no. Hi, no. Hi, no. Welcome to this video. I've been wanting to do this video for a very, very long time. I would say I've had this video idea for like six months and now finally I'm doing it. I'm going to be reading some nutritional facts to you and recently as of recording this video I did a poll asking how and what voice style you would like to hear it in whisper soft spoken or an audible and soft spoken one so that is why I'm doing soft spoken not something I usually do but here we are but let's get to our first nutritional fact here let's start off with a little bit more of a basic item a little bit more of a basic item I have these Madrin Great Value Oranges in a can here. Try to make some sounds with it to introduce us. Let's just turn this around to read some of the nutritional facts here. So, the serving size is about one and a half cups. Half a cup is the serving size, and there is 3.5 servings per container in this thing here. The serving calories is 50. Not very high, it's just fruit. There is no fat, no saturated fat, no trans fat, no cholesterol, 10 mg, is that milligrams? I'm not sure. Let's say milligrams, milligrams of sodium. 10 mg of sodium. Carbohydrates is 12 grams of carbohydrates, 1 gram of dietary fiber, and 6 grams of total sugar, and 0 grams of added sugar, and 0 grams of protein. Mm. One thing that you need to be aware of when you're dealing with fruits is all fruits have sugar, but they're actually considered more healthy, natural sugar rather than the added sugars you see a lot in more processed foods. So, uh, there's no vitamin. They have potassium. 130 milligrams. I don't know what potas means. It's sort of right there. What does potas mean? I've never seen that before. And then, of course, this is all based on a 2,000 calorie per day diet. some of the ingredients. It's a short list. Mandarin oranges, water, citric acid, and sucralose. Sucralose. I believe there was a recent study that just shown that sucralose is not very good for you. That's not so good. I think it was something that was just discovered to be pretty bad for you. 
and it's in a lot of stuff, and I guess it's in this too. Thank you, Management Oranges, for appearing in today's video. Let's try a more snack food. This one you might have seen in some of my videos before. We have the Flavor Blasted Goldfish. Make some sound with it. Just to introduce ourselves, this is, this is the Flavor Blasted Extra Cheddar version of Goldfish. Okay. And let's see the nutritional facts. There was 41 pieces per serving. 51. Did I say 41? I meant 51. 51 pieces. Sounds a lot, but goldfish are like this small, so it's not that much. And there's about six, six, six per container. Six serving size per container. What does that mean? There's like 300 goldfish in here? Quick math or something? It's 140 calories per serving. So 51 goldfish is 141 calories. It has a total of 5 grams of fat at 6%. One of those grams is saturated fat at 5%. Just 1 gram of saturated fat and uh, poly un polyunsaturated fat at 1.5 grams and monounsaturated fat at 2.5 grams. That's not so good. Not so good at all. It has 5 milligrams of cholesterol. 5 milligrams of cholesterol and 260 milligrams of sodium. Of sodium. Sodium. And then it has 19 grams of carbohydrates coming out at 7% with dietary fiber at 1 gram and total sugars 0 grams. And it has 4 grams of protein. Look at that. Some protein. Uh, we look at some of the bigger ones. It's got iron in there. 1.3 milligrams. It's got theamin at 0 0.14 milligrams. It's got niacin at 2.3 milligrams. It's got calcium in there for 40 milligrams. It's got riboflavin for 0 0.18 milligrams and f folate at 80 mcgs DFE 20%. I don't know what that means. Hmm. Very interesting. This is a little bit how they get you. They use very big ones. They don't really explain what they mean. Hmm. Uh huh. Let me see. The highest percentage here is niacin with 15%. 2.3 mg's. The second coming is sodium at 11%. Mm. This is confusing. <laughs> mm. This is how they get you with processed foods. They sort of just put it on the back without really explaining much of what it actually is. So you never know what you're really eating. Mm. Let's look at some of the ingredients here, much larger list, enriched, enriched wheat, wheat flour, uh, iron, niacin, 
with deucetinin, theamine, monoetrate, riboflavin, folic acid, cheddar cheese, sunflower and or soybean, uh, salt, yeah, there's a lot of stuff here, and it contains wheat and milk. interesting set of nutritional facts from the goldfish. Speaking of milk, let's read some milk. We have some Fay Farm milk here. I think the best thing about Fay Farm milk is that it expires very late. Which is also kind of concerning, because this expires on November 9th, unopened of course. Most milk does not last that long, so it's interesting to see what they might put into this. To make it last so long. It is unopened, but here it is fat free, ultra filtered milk, lactose free, contains nine essential nutrients. It has 50% less sugar than regular milk, more than 50% more protein than regular milk, and no artificial growth hormones. Can't really shake it too well since it's unopened. Okay, let's read the serving size. It's very cold. I just got this out of the fridge, so my hands are kind of freezing. There is six servings per container, and one serving is one cup. One cup is one serving, and there are six per serving. It has 80 calories, 80 calories per serving, 80 calories, no fat at all, no fat, 5 mg milligrams of cholesterol, and 120 milligrams of sodium, total carbohydrates is 6 grams. It has a total of 6 grams of sugar, 6 grams, and it has a th protein of 13 grams. Hmm. Can I put this down? Because it really is too cold for me. Okay, let's try to read this from here. It has vitamin D at 5 mcg. I don't know what that means, and calcium at 380 milligrams, it has potassium at 400 milligrams, it has vitamin A, 4 MCG, 100 MCGs, it's got riboflavin again for 0 0.25 milligrams, it's got vitamin B, 12, 1.1 mcgs it's got phosphorus i don't know what that says for 270 milligrams it's got magnesium what for 25 milligrams isn't that the poisonous stuff and it has zinc for the 1.4 milligrams and it has selenium for 10 MCGs. I'm not sure what MCG stands for. Mm -hmm. Those are the nutritional facts. Let's read some of the ingredients. Non-fat, ultra-filtered milk, lactose enzyme, vitamin A, palmate, and vitamin D3. And that's it. That's all the ingredients they put into this. And then they have this nice cute little chart to compare 
with this small cast compared to others. They got five more grams of protein. They got less sugar. They got less calcium. And it doesn't have lactose. Okay, let's put this off to the side. And let's do, let's do another snack food. Let's do another snack food. Let's do a cookie. The Oreo. The Oreo. It's a little bit loud. And I do not get tingles from this, so we might need to... Nutritional facts, the serving size is only three cookies. Three cookies. And do you have three cookies when you're eating Oreos? I don't think so. I don't think anyone stops at three cookies when eating Oreos. They even show the little three cookies as a serving size right there. And there are 15 serving sizes. 15 serving sizes in this little family size. So, 15 in each row, 45 cookies in total. Mm. The calories for just three cookies is 160 gra calories, not grams. We're working with calories. 160 calories. It has a total fat of 7 grams at 9%, with saturated fat at 2 grams at 2%. It has zero cholesterol, and has 130 milligrams of sodium at 6%. It has dietary fiber of 1 gram and 25 grams of carbohydrates. 25 grams. A total sugar is 14 grams, with added sugars being 14 grams, coming at a whopping 28% and 1 gram of protein, just to make it healthy. Let's see, it has iron in it at 1.4 milligrams, and it has potassium as well at 50 milligrams. And that's it. That's all the stuff that's in here. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, this will be the last nutritional facts we will read. And it is of Campbell's Chicken Soup. Okay, let's try reading this. The container is the serving size. The container is the serving size. The calories per one cup is 70 per one cup, of course. But the serving size per container is 120 calories. 120 calories. It's a little bit hard to read. It's got 
total fat at 3% at 2 grams, saturated fat at 0.5 grams at 3%, zero trans fat, zero, 0 0.5 pollen state fat, and mono state fat at 0 0.5 grams. It has 15 milligrams of cholesterol coming in at 5%. Sodium, it has 1,550 milligrams of sodium, coming in at 67%. It has 15 grams, is that 15 or is that 18? 15 or 18 grams of, seven of carbohydrates coming in at 7%. It's got some fiber in there at 1 gram. It's got some sugar in there at one gram as well. And it has five grams of protein. Hmm. Interesting. Well, this one is very hard for me to read since, well, obviously you can read it better since it's at that direct light. But, like, when I turn it this way, it's against the light, so it's harder for me to read. Let's see. Ingredients, chicken stock, water, enriched egg noodles, wheat flour, egg whites, niacin, Ferocious sulfate, ferocious theamine monotrate, riboflavin, folic acid. Chicken meat contains less than 2% of modified cornstarch salt and a bunch of other stuff. Hmm. I think this one might be deceptively unhealthy. sequel to this video where I gather some more food to read some nutritional facts on. Also let me know if you like the soft spoken style of content. I don't really do it that often. So yeah. A little bit nervous, a little bit weird, not as adept to being a soft spoken, so I made a lot of mistakes and I stumbled a lot of my words, so, but let me know if you like it, uh, also let me know as well what video ideas that you might have for me to try and do in the future, okay, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, nutritional facts reading, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and subscribe, I think that is enough for me today, I will see you next time.